Hey, welcome back to the home video vlog and back to home video hangouts. This week, I'm gonna be sharing with you a few of the movies I watched, what I thought of them, some plans for the upcoming week, as well as a couple channel updates and something I added to my collection this week. So let's jump right into it. All right, so starting with what I watched this week, one of the best movies I've watched this week and potentially one of the best movies I've watched this year was Hugo in 4K. I have the Arrow release of Hugo in 4K and it's a, such a great movie. They did such a great job on uh, the restoration or the transfer of this movie. And it probably is some of the best visuals I've ever seen in a 4K movie as well as a great audio track as well. And I have never seen the actual movie before, even on a lower format. So I really enjoyed the story of the movie and how unique it was and how artistic it was. And I cannot recommend that movie enough, especially Arrow's 4K release of it. So if you haven't seen Hugo yet, make sure you check that one out and definitely look into getting the Arrow release of Hugo. It also comes with a lot of great special features and a pretty cool double-sided poster in the Arrow release as well. So make sure you look that one up and Make sure you watch Hugo. All right, then I watched Donnie Darko. Now this one I wanted to check out because I have the Arrow 4K release of Donnie Darko as well, but I've heard good things about this movie. A lot of people like the Arrow release and like the movie as a whole and it has kind of a cult following. So I wanted to make sure I checked it out, but to be honest, I found it to be a pretty disappointing movie. I thought the storyline was very strange. The characters are kind of strange. The visuals were not that great. This is a very grainy kind of 4K release, and I didn't think there was anything too special about the audio track on this either. Um, so it's not really a movie I would recommend or one that I think is worthwhile to get on 4K even if you do enjoy the movie. So um, I'm glad I got to see it, but it's likely a movie that I'll be selling off out of my collection to kind of keep curating my collection to just have the movies I love most. But if you enjoy Donnie Darko, let me know in the comments below what you liked about it because I'd love to hear some different perspectives on that as well. All right, then in the theater this week, I was able to see Dune Part 2. I remember going to see Dune Part 1 in the theater and thinking it was a little bit of a slow paced movie, but it had some awesome visual effects and some world building. And I was excited to see Dune Part 2 because I figured they would kind of add on to that and kind of take it up a notch with Dune Part 2. And I'm glad to say that they did. If you look above me, I'll be linking my full review of Dune Part 2 for you to check out. But just to give you a short recap, they added some more action sequences into it to make it a little bit more exciting. And it has some incredible visuals and incredible soundtrack from Hans Zimmer. And I, I really do recommend going out and seeing this one if you like sci-fi movies. It may not be as fast paced or exciting as some other sci-fi movies, but it's still worth seeing. And I think you would enjoy it if you enjoy sci-fi. All right, then lastly, what I watched this week, I started watching the Harry Potter series in 4K. So a while back, I picked up the full collection of Harry Potter movies on 4K, and I started watching the first one last night, The Sorcerer's Stone, and I'm glad to say that this is a great 4K release. I'm not gonna say it has the best visuals I've ever seen on a 4K, but this was kind of a rough time when that movie came out for the quality of movie releases, and I think they did a great job with what they had. You know, there's still a little bit of graininess in it, but not nearly as bad as some other movies I've seen, and the soundtrack is actually really great. I was hesitant going into it because it doesn't have Dolby Vision or Dolby Atmos, but the DTS track it has is a very good soundtrack if you have a good sound system, and it really adds to some of the intense sequences in this movie. So I really do che recommend checking out all the Harry Potter movies on 4K, and I'm excited to kind of go through that whole series again. All right, and then in terms of what I added to my collection this week, I didn't add any new movies to the collection or anything, but I did get a new poster. When I went to Regal to go see Dune Part 2, they were giving out these small posters. So I got this poster here. Uh, it's an IMAX Dune Part 2 poster, which is pretty cool. So I'll likely be adding this to my poster wall. Um, so just wanted to share that with everyone. And um, lastly, I just wanted to kind of go over some updates for the channel. So I recently got some new equipment, including a better microphone. So hopefully you're noticing a little bit of an increase in audio quality in my videos, as well as uh, some better tripods and better setup for my recording. And then I'm also experimenting with potentially setting up a studio area in my house to do some of my future videos that's a little different than what you've been seeing so far. So in my future videos, you may see a little bit of a change in the background and what things look like, but 
I'm trying to improve with each video. I'll have some more videos coming out in the next week that'll incorporate um, some additional elements like video and um, just trying to slowly increase the quality of the content I'm putting out. So make sure you keep letting me know in the comments what you're thinking of these videos and what you'd like to see next. And I appreciate your feedback very much. Thank you to all my subscribers who've been supporting me so far. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the like button down below and hit the subscribe button so you can see my future videos and kind of see how I grow over time and keep putting out content for you to enjoy. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.